I forgot the doze by the door. I'm gonna set the scene for you guys right now. One o'clock in the morning. I'm not in the ghetto per se, but I'm not in the nicest area. Babe's taking a nap because he's tired and I can't sleep at night because we have opposite schedules and we've kind of always, we've always had opposite schedules. I've always been a late night person. So I stay up till like three, four in the morning and then he goes to bed at like seven. Hi guys. Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. This is where I'm sitting. This is where I'm sitting right now and the reason I'm so red is because these giant signs. I'm about to start a local shift. Today, we are gonna be... Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, did I just see that behind me? I didn't see that. No way, Kimbo, I can't. Hello? Baby. Babe. There's a homeless guy walking out here. Can you please come out? Yeah. He's just crossed the street. Look over there, look over there, over there. You see him? He looks over here and starts running around. He's coming back. No, no, he's leaving. He's okay, back. okay, good. Can you just go? Yeah, I just got here. And that's the second street walker, but the other person looked like they were just walking home from work. But I was like, I could tell legitimately that was not a normal person. And it's funny, so <laughs> I actually, because I'm facing this way, I saw him in my viewfinder and my camera. And I was like, what the fuck? I saw something moving and I was like, wait, what? And I turned around and I saw he was like right, he was right next to the truck. Oh yeah, he was totally staring. He was probably scoping it out, but oh. Cause I was just like, you know, taking my time and filming and stuff. And then I'm like, oh hell no. <laughs> I was worried about it to begin with. Cause I know, I know this area is a little weird. Okay, new plan. If you guys see anybody walk behind me, just feel free to let me know. <laughs> I didn't see that. <laughs> okay, so I have some iced coffee. One in the morning. I made this at the Flying J all by myself. Just realized I'm drinking iced coffee and it's like 40 degrees out here right now. Picked up some Mickey D's and I put it in my warmer bag here. This is one of those lunch boxes that warm up. This thing gets so hot. I've shown you guys a long time ago. Look, <laughs> I'm just like in one of those really unhealthy moods today and I'm just going to fly with it. So I got a Big Mac. I got a double cheeseburger and a large fries. I ate most of it already. I'm totally stretched out now. I normally don't deliver here at this time. Usually it's like in the evening when they're busy. So I guess I just didn't expect that. Anyway. Mm. Oh my God, I didn't realize how hungry I was. All right, so let's get right into it. So it's been one year since I've worked for a company. Actual first like real job I consider. And I want to give you guys my honest opinion about it. One of my next videos is actually gonna be about should you own a trucking company and should you be an owner operator? And it's gonna be a very businessy video. I'm so excited to make it. Really come full circle back to my businessy roots. I've kind of taken a break from that, but it's always kind of lingering in there. I just needed to work on some other things first as I have opened up to you guys about in one of the last videos. One of the biggest things that I do in my life is I treat a lot of things as an experiment and a learning experience. So I will try so many different things. I'm really scattered because I think it's like one in the morning and I'm kind of exhausted. But anyway, I just said the same sentence like 20 times. Ugh. I think that one of the most important skills in life is the skill of learning. And somebody taught me this when I was younger. I just can't remember who, but it has always been that way for me. And I was kind of born with this just burning desire to learn everything. I'm just very curious about life. I think that that's something that anybody can learn. And I think it's something that even I still learn over the years more and more how to be a better learner. I've learned a lot about businesses and companies from working for a company. This is the biggest learning experience and I'm so happy that I worked with a trucking company and kind of stayed in the field even if I don't want to open my own trucking company and I have expressed this a couple of times in the last few years of how I don't have any desire at this point to like 
own a, a trucking company or be an owner operator anymore. Some of the biggest things that I really wanted to conquer as working for a company and learn in my life, which, you know, obviously you guys know that I'm not gonna work for a company forever. <laughs> I never can, I never will. I felt like one of my weaknesses was taking orders. I have a really hard time like taking orders and being submissive to like higher ups. And I personally felt like that was one of my weaknesses because there's always going to be somebody at a higher level that I can learn from. So I have finally conquered that and it's, it wasn't, it didn't happen right away. <laughs> it's like, I would say that I pretty much like don't, I, I've been so used to working for myself for so many years. And one of the things that attracted me to this job specifically for this company, because there's so many jobs, obviously you can go out and I didn't wanna just get a job to get a job and pay the bills. I wanted to get a job that could grow me as a person because that's just the most valuable thing you could do. One of the biggest things that stood out to me in this job is like when I applied and everything, I think we got these a little bit of owner operator freedom vibes. I think this job was as close as it was gonna get to like the most freedom we could have at any job. Personally, I felt like that was, that was just another street walker. I knew that was something that we needed and I specifically need. And what's kind of funny about that is like, you know, when we deliver to these stores and they have GMs here and managers and stuff, like most of them are pretty cool. And then you'll come across a couple of them that have issues. <laughs> to put it nicely, they are controlling and have power issues. So we don't work for them. We work for the corporate like QCC up north in Iowa, but down all over in like Kansas and Missouri, like they just, some of them are a little toxic. And let me tell you, that has been one of the hardest things for me because I learned about different stuff when I was on Rob, but the one thing that I did not work on as far as a skill was my people skills and handling people and these kind of workers. <laughs> workers that like, think they're they think they're god or something right and they make like half of my pay i'm not gonna go into that because i could i could get pretty brutally honest about it but i'm just gonna say that you know they just whatever so like they try to do all these things sometimes and overstep their boundaries constantly with us and it's like this thing where we constantly have to like put them in their place and man like they get pissed some managers get nasty because of it and i'm not doing anything mean i'm just like not being a little slave to them because i don't work for them anyways that's one of like the biggest things i only see these people like i see managers twice a week for like 30 minutes i think a total maybe 15 minutes and it's like some of these stores is like a fucking some of the most difficult 15 minutes of my day that and having bosses i think i oh my battery's dying already Okay, I kept a spare battery in my pocket for this occasion. What was I saying? Um, I gotta keep my eyes peeled back for these street walk. <laughs> Anyways, I really wanted a cool background. Not that this is a cool background, but I, I wanted a cooler background than like sitting in the cab and it's nice and warm and not windy and stuff. Over the last year, I quickly realized that I'm never gonna become a permanent like company person. I just, it's not in the cards for me. If I just stayed in a job any job and didn't create stuff for myself and create something to make the world a better place i think i would just die inside after a couple of years to be honest because even just one year this last year has really brought to light what i really wanted in life because when i was transitioning from kind of owning like our little trucking company before and transitioning into having a regular job you guys didn't know i still have like my vacation rental that I've been running, I think this is gonna go on the fifth year. But in total, I've been doing Airbnb for like six years, I think. A lot of you guys have asked about it and it's something that I personally love doing. I love going to my rental house. I like working on it. I like giving people this cool experience and like really homey stuff. And I like provide everything in my Airbnb. Managing the people that work there is, is also an experience I've had for many years because if you guys didn't know this, I only go to Florida like once a year to check on my house. Now, ideally, I'd like to go twice a year, but um, sometimes the year just gets ahead of me. But everything is okay. I just push it to the limits. So in the next like few months, I'm due to go back and I have a list of stuff that I'm going to check on, do kind of like quality control, things like that. So I love doing that. 
and it's kind of just like my side thing, you know? I've managed it and maneuvered that whole property in a way that it has done really well for itself. It's always self-sustained and it's always like made me money. Working this job the last year has made me realize I've learned so much about myself that I never would have learned if I didn't. And I learned so much about how to manage people because I learned so much about people in general, but I spend more time with people at this job than ideally I'd like to, but I learned a lot about businesses and people and seeing the way the different stores. So we have one of our routes has 14 stores and then the other route has seven. And then that's just on this bid. Then there's like one that's all in Missouri that we've done. And then there's one all the way in like Wichita that we've done. So we've like seen a decent amount of stores in the last year. We see all the shit, you know what I mean? Is what I'm saying. Like we see how differently, drastically a store can be different. Like they're all Papa John's. They can literally like, some of these Papa John's are like less than 10 minutes from the other one. Yeah, it can be an entirely different store. Basically, like the people who run the store really matter. Um, the stores that are toxic, you can clearly see it. And I've talked to other employees that have dealt with really toxic like GMs that are like super kind of a borderline abusive. I've talked to employees, um, opened up to me about the frustrations that they have. And I try not to talk to them too much and get too close to them because a lot of them are a little crazy, but I think everyone's kind of a little crazy, so it's all right. One of the biggest things that I want to take away from a job like this and seeing all these managers and these workers and the issues that they have at their stores and seeing great ones and not great ones. And it's such a small place to start. I can't imagine like a huge, some big operations. Amazon's one of those. They've got a pretty good system down, although sometimes I get delivered packages and they get a picture and so I don't. I don't know what the stipulation is on that, but I would like a uniform way of delivering where I always get a picture. So I'm getting closer and closer to that point where I can tell soon that I'm gonna figure out kind of the next move that I wanna make in my life and you know what I wanna do next. So I wanna share with you guys a couple of books that I'm currently reading. Um, I listen to Audible when I drive. Here is some of my books. So I have Recovery from Complex PTSD. Oh, okay. So this book, when it comes to changing your everyday life habits, the two books that I would recommend the most is The Compound Effect. Holy shit, that book changed my life. So The Compound Effect and The Power of One More. Those are two books that will change your freaking life. I love The Power of One More. It's so good. Um, and then the book I just started, which I can't believe that I've never read this because it's actually a really old book. The original one is Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Only about halfway through the book, but that book is freaking amazing. So those are books that I would recommend off the top of my head. I'm gonna finish off Rich Dad, Poor Dad, and that book is really helping me. That one that I started reading made me really, really come to my senses about the kind of life that I wanna live. Just seeing everything in a different way, and it's hard being different sometimes because you see things different than the average person, so like getting advice from people and your peers around you is doesn't happen, and then getting Criticism happens more than anything. I think a lot of you on here get me more than a lot of people because you also are searching for the same thing. You are also learning and you also think more. Obviously, I don't, I don't think you would watch my videos. Also, I did want to thank you guys for hanging and sticking in there during this transition period in the last year or so. I know a lot of you guys joined because I was doing this business thing and it was trucking and everything, but I do want you to know that business will always run in my blood and there is so much other business things that in the future and in currently in the present, you guys can learn with me and we can do this journey together. And I actually have so many more of you guys that joined our little family, especially on Instagram, when we reached like 100K sometime this year. I'm so excited to hopefully inspire you guys. I think the biggest hope that I have and what really inspires me to make videos is that I hope to inspire other people and it's not to not have the fear of following your path but it's kind of not listening to the fear because we all have the fear but listening to it is the issue so I've dealt with it anyone out there that's done anything different or went against the grain or thought differently and everything it is one of the hardest things to do but it's a sign that you're a genius
but I wanted to update you guys because you know you've kind of been waiting around for something to happen and a lot of you have told me that you're like hmm like what's the next move you know and like people in my life as well and I'm like it'll come when it comes and I think the best thing to do in transitional periods like this is to learn everything you can and put yourself in a situation where you can learn and when it comes to owning a trucking company there's a lot of reasons why I choose not to and you know it would probably be the easiest thing for me to do to be honest in a way that like to start it and it would be easy for me to start it and grow it but there is specific reasons why I do not want a trucking company and I have learned from a lot of people who own trucking companies and not the facade that they put out there to the world but I really get the their true opinion and the day-to-day -day that they deal with and I take that information and choose for myself is this what I want for myself not to say that I may not have something to do with the transportation industry or logistics I'm not sure yet I don't think that I've studied enough about logistics honestly it's very complex even Papa John's we're a pretty small fleet I guess you could say well maybe we're not small because we're like all over the US but they're still kind of like outdated and small and stuff. It's funny because when I've worked for this company and pretty much every company I've ever worked for, I've been like this. Not that I overstep the bosses, but I always have like things that I'm like, oh, this can make it better. And that's the one thing that when I've worked for this job, I have noticed that it's one of my skills and it's something I should totally venture out on. And I should totally work and, and grow that skill. And that skill is seeing the potential in things and seeing things in a very multi-dimensional way. And when I'm working here, I can see so many. It's sometimes like exhausting. So I have to kind of like put the brakes on it because I'm like, I don't own this business, but it's a really good exercise for my brain. I haven't wasted a second. Okay, I've wasted a couple seconds. <laughs> what can I use this time for to learn things that I need to learn with this freedom and extra time that I have? Gotta do my street walker check. Okay, we're good. I encourage you, no matter what situation it is, you can learn so much. And one thing that I just read in one part of this book in Rich Dad Poor Dad, he was saying that the rich man learns a little bit about a lot of things. And I guess it's to be well-rounded. And then the poor man specializes in only one thing and he only learns like one thing and specializes in one thing. So The Power of Learning, that should be a book that maybe I'll write. <gasps> I'm not a writer, I'm not gonna write a book. I like video, let's do video. A topic that I really wanna explore over the next couple of months as I am really coming closer to figuring out what the next step is in my life that I wanna do. I wanna explore the topic of money. That's my next biggest thing. My issue has not been making money per se, although I do want to make a lot more money but my issue is keeping the money and investing it properly and investing in assets and not liabilities so that's one of the biggest things that I want to work on the next couple months and I'm gonna share with you guys what I've learned so far and kind of share with you in my life what has been an asset up to this point and what is currently a liability and what I plan to do about it yeah but anyways it was nice having a chat with you guys and I look forward to seeing you in the next video bye